All right, so after a while being gone, I finally have the 25 Creedmoor ready to do some testing. So what we, through the video you'll notice some, I, I do some loading and what have you. That was a while back and I, what I discovered trying to do it was the reamer that the barrel had been cut with, uh, the free bore was just too short for the Burger 135s, which is what I'm running. So we, I ordered a unithroater from PTNG, got it in, we took some measurements, we got it all throated out and ready to go. And now it chambers the big 135s with uh, plenty of room to go. Today we're going to look at the reloading bench here real quick. Just got in all the components I need to start the load on this gun. Um, the components we're going to start with are Peterson 25 Creedmoor head stamp brass and with a small rifle primer. Um, Peterson you know, American made company, all good stuff, really high end stuff. Um, we're gonna use CCI primers, bench rests, small rifle, BR4s. And uh, we're gonna be loading this with Vitavori N555 powder. I've already got it thrown over there in the Matchmaster. We'll see how it comes out. And kind of the star of the show, so much as six or the 25 Creedmoor is concerned today, is gonna be the new Burger 25 cal 135 grain long range target hybrid. Now, these are brand new to the market, just come out, and they're boasting an incredible G1 BC of points, point six five zero. By comparison, you know, we've got some six millimeter and six five burger long range target hybrids over here. The 105 six mil is uh, 0.536 and the 6.5 140 grain 0 0.607 so the 25 cal really boasts a lot a lot more bc than the other two we'll see how efficient it is but we're going to start here on the bench we're going to get these components loaded up and just uh, see we're going to start with the uh, satterly style method i'll take 10 cases load them point uh, two tenth of a grain increments away from each other in charge weights and try to find that velocity node that we can start with and then we'll go from there with our seating depth and what have you so stick with us and we'll get this thing going thanks again we'll just kind of overview the rifle it is a curtis customs axiom action benchmark barrel one and seven and a quarter twist uh running a foundation genesis 2 with uh i'm running a hawkins precision uh tank brake out front self-time and take brake i'm running the leopold mark 5 hd this is a scope i i move it around i run it on several different guns depending on what i'm doing and i'm using a set of the heavy steel tactical hawkins rings on this one these are super nice i've got the side level on it all integral i, I really like that um running a timony hit trigger and uh it's already got ARCA, obviously. I have several Accutac bipods. This is just the one I threw on there for the, today's test. All my bipods are Accutac, so that's you know that's pretty much just what I run. So what we have loaded up is I've got three siders here, and then I've got 10 different uh, charge weights loaded from 41.2 grains up to 43 grains of Vitavori N555. I'll show you some of the load development and stuff like that. It's just been a while in the making. Finally got it back though, so let's get to it. I got my ciders done, got on paper, and then I started working up through, I fired my first two shots in my Saturday chain. Uh, 41.2 grains, I was at 26.52. At 41.4, I was at 26.64. And uh, down there on the paper, they pretty well cut the same hole. So uh, we're going to continue, and I'm going to go ahead and shoot 41.6 grains. We are shooting uh, Vitavori N555. I think I said that earlier. So let's uh, see what this does.
2682. Getting up there a little bit now. I'd like to see 2800 by the end of this, but we'll see. Bolt lift feels good. Checking the brass. Brass looks good. So uh, I'll go ahead, I'll finish this up, and uh, at the end of the video, we'll re review the results. So. All right, so we went down through all 10 of the shots and we found some pretty decent nodes uh, as far as velocity goes. Um, you know, we, we went all the way from the bottom at 41.2 grains at 2652 uh, to our fastest load, which was actually 42.8 grains at 2763. Went to 43 grains, but it actually dropped back down to 27.59 and uh, I had at 42.4 grains at 27.45 and at 42.6 I had 27.46 so I'm actually going to split the difference I'm going to go right in there at 42.5 grains uh, I've got a little three shot group loaded up uh, we're going we're gonna to take a shot down there with it and see what a three shot group looks like as far as SDs and extreme spread. I mean, it's just three shots and we're gonna just see what the group size looks like. If the group size looks pretty good and the numbers are promising, then we may go to a five or 10 shot string. Uh, but this will give us a good idea of kind of where we're at. So let's uh, get the ears on and see what we can do here. So far, I really like shooting this setup. It, uh, you shoot a foundation you it's just hard to explain how it feels all right shooting for group Ooh, I pulled that and I felt it. Ah. It'll be interesting to see what the numbers are because I know I goofed that. Not a bad group, but ah, that one shot, I know that's my fault. I know it's my fault. So, see here. Well, the numbers kind of come down a little bit, maybe. So we got an average of 2740, with a high of 2746, and a low of 2734. Uh, standard deviation of 6 extreme spread of 12 so th those are not bad numbers it's certainly something worth uh, worth pursuing and I really think I really really think that that group would be considerably smaller as soon as that second shot went off it to, it's hard to explain to someone who doesn't shoot but when you pull one you know it there's no doubt in your mind that oh that wasn't the gun that was me and right there I'm telling you I, I felt my weight shift just a little bit as the gun cracked off and anyway it's all right not trying to make excuses for the gun. Uh, the gun shoots pretty good, and I, I'm not having the greatest day out here shooting myself, but the numbers look good, and uh, I will probably load up more and continue to shoot that 
load and maybe play with the seating depth a little bit. But so far, I mean, that's just a three shot group. That's, you know, very preliminary findings, but, uh, you know, we'll stretch it out and we'll see what it does over a longer string. But uh, so far the 25 Creed, it's accurate, great numbers. Um, it's not, it's not screaming. It's not just flying out of here real fast, but I, I expected that with the, uh, N555. Uh, there's some other findings out there that are showing it, you know, especially, I mean, right here in this node, even, uh, with different builds and what have you. But, uh, it seems like it's very, uh, a very stable load. So I'm, I'm thinking about trying some, uh, H4831 shortcut in the future. Uh, see what that does. I've got a little bit on hand, but it's, I haven't been able to find much of it. So, but anyway, Chris here at Midwest Long Range, guys, having a good day. Stay safe.